Boom, viewers, subscribers, back again with these quick updates because trust. If it's not foreign from King Mix Up, it's not credible. I keep on telling you that you don't know the thing said, people. Bless up on yourself, but you know my style already. One bag of one in a one, and this is a super exclusive. How you know that's how I do around here, you feel me? And if I drop this, every site is going to be running with this. So when you see it elsewhere, please put in the comment section. Big up King Mix Up, people. As you already seen in the headline, Shensia is being sued by the producers of Lick. Yes. And it's not a good look because it looks like said Dizzy and Russian is distancing themselves from Shensia. Boy, Dizzy, I throw some shots from my dear, yeah, people may not lie to you. And I think this is the reason why. You know what I mean? As you can look at the Struggling caption. Struggling will teach you what you don't want to return to. And helps you appreciate what you achieve. Be with people who has plans for both y'all. Both of y'all. Not just them. And he also said notice when they put you last. But always call you first. When they need something. And I think he's throwing shots at Shensia. Because like I've been saying. It's Ramesh getting all of the attention and the praises. As we see in Shensia. Not to mention Dizzy. Or rushing at her um, alpha release party in Jamaica. It was all about Ramesh you know. And I think that's a kind of disrespectful, you see me, I say, you know what I mean? Because he's really dizzy making Shen popular, you know. He's bringing her to all of these events, meeting all of these types of rappers, Kanye West, Scotch Torch, and all of these things, you know. And I'm not sure if Russian and Dizzy know about this lawsuit, because like I said, it's a super exclusive, and I don't know if they've been served already, but it's not a good look because Shensia... Boy, now we know why you was looking stressed, you feel me? But most most importantly, you look stupid. Yes, you look stupid, just like the stupid Jamaican people you was calling and saying that Americans don't want to deal with them around this slick situation. Remember, she should go on our live and say, on a stupid about sample and teeth and all of these things. Well, people, before we get into what the producer have to say, let's remember what Shensia said about this whole ordeal. But she get clearance and sample and all of these things. And I try to put murder under the bus saying I feel him idea. And him want always drunk you off in the studio. I think the reason why him want drunk you off a vibe job. Because he knows you had a Jamaican hoe like 21 Savage says. And him say you're giving it up to London on the track for why. Anyway people let's listen to what Shensi have to say. And we'll get into that last suit. You see me? Came up with Lake and shit. And he originally had the sample in the beat. And then he said that, yo, why don't you try to sing the sample out loud? And I said, that, mm, I mean, I never tried it before. It's cool, no problem. I think it would be great for like the Caribbean with Jamaican and Trinidadian to like fuse on one. And it will go crazy. So tell me now, before this song comes out in three minutes, I just want to tell y'all. Because this is why some Americans don't even fuck the Caribbean people. Because y'all be acting stupid as shit. And that's just the fact. Y some of y'all dumb as shit. Right? Why would we end up use a sample from somebody else's song that was done in 2006 or 5? And not, and not clear the song. Like, how does that even make sense? Tense, bro like before you guys look at the bigger picture and be like yo Shensi is rapping for caribbean boom bam bang our girl is doing her thing blah 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 y'all say y'all trying to say i stole somebody's song stop fucking with me stop playing with me because that's so stupid like uh -huh. and then megan is on the song why would we risk getting sued that's all i want to clear up and it's, it's not something that's bothering me. It's just because I know that people run with this narrative. And I'm not about to do it. So I'm about to start clearing shit up from early. Because normally I would be avoiding shit. But I'm not going to do it this year. If I see that it's the need to answer. Or y'all trying to ruin my reputation or some shit. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to do it with y'all. Not this year baby. Normally I'll hold my tongue. Because I don't give a shit. Normally I'll hold my tongue. Because I don't care. But come on, when are we gonna stop this shit?
It's really just ignorance for, for real. It's really just ignorance. And guess what? I don't care who wants to try to come after me because guess what? Five years now I'm in the industry. I walk broad. As you can see, I have a very broad back. Now, before we get into the lawsuit documents, I think we need to know who exactly is filing this lawsuit. You know what I mean? And the person you see on the screen, Anastas Akit Bay. You feel me? CEO of Traveling Man Productions. You see me? I said, Anasta Hakik has over 35 years experience in the music and entertainment business. So her career in the music business is, is older than Shensia, you know, with decades of experience as a record producer, musician, drummer, writer, arranger, and band leader. The Grammy-nominated record producer and visionary who has vast experience working in corporate settings is setting the foundation for the future by focusing on his original music production. Very much a team player who works well with special event planners and booking agents, Hackett has been responsible for domestic and international group travel arrangement as well as managing our tour and record recording project budgets. Madison Square Garden, Radio City, Music Hall, the Apollo Theater, BBB Kings, SOBs, and Irvin Plaza are just a few well-known venues on the East Coast where Hackett has performed. MTV VH1 saw train and the our senior host show the natalie cole show saturday night live and the john stewart show and are, are some television programs where hackett has appeared you know what i mean so the niece and shensi and the record label team need some explaining to do because when i come out and say when i get permission um from the niece for sampling her track uh, put it in the back people putting out the comment section what's going on this reminds me of the Luli song that Shensia was featured with Vibes Cartel without his permission because, you know, Elvis Sonic owns the song and the rhythm. So I don't know if she gave the OK to use to put it in the back lyrics or are they being um, sued because they used the rhythm, you know what I mean? And it looked like said Denise might have got a thing under the table, you know what I'm saying? Um, that might not be OK with the producer because if this song really hits in the future it can really sell a million singles you know and and they will be cut out of the money you see me and we already seen the shadiness um with how they promoted this track you know it wasn't until they got blown out of proportion that them said them used the girl thing you see me i say but let's get to the documents but I mean, I want to laugh, you know, people, but put in the comment section. Uh, what a real stupid Jamaican. You see me, I say? Boy, Shensei, uh, when Amari said this, man, boy, everything Amari said was right, you know. Don't burn your bridges till your foundation set, you know what I mean? And your daddy, I call with stupid Jamaicans because you swear you made it with this lick song. You know what I mean? And as you see in front of you, well, people if they can read. Plaintiff Anastas um, Theodore Hackett Traveling Man Productions, you know. And the defendants are listed as Interscope Records Inc. Chinsia Lee, you know what I mean? Professionally known as Chinsia, you know what I mean? Atal Music Limited, an executive producer. Oh, sorry about that, people, because I freestyle, mega free, I freestyle. Alexander Escobar. I heard that name before, you feel me? You see, this is why I say it reminded me of the Ludi thing, you know, because the producer owned the, the, the lyrics and the rhythm, you see me? I said, so I don't know what kind of permission um, Denise was given. Uh, Shansia, without the permission for the original producer of the track, you see me? I said, why it's not a good look for the dance one, you know. You see me, I see. And here are some of the listing streaming places that is being streamed. Boy. Boy, this reminds me of Kaga and Flavor McGregor kiss. You know that Kaga they win. Uh, it looked like he won a couple million from Flavor, you know what I mean? I think he won like 300,000 US, 800,000 um, US each song that Flavor tried to hijack. Um, from him, you feel what I'm saying? So this is definitely not a good look for Shinsia, people. Or anybody around her, you feel me? Um, the label is definitely going to drop. But when I say that they're not happy with Shinsia, I'm not talking out my behind, you know. 
I'm telling you the real deal. You feel what I'm saying? And with this, she is definitely going to be trapped, people. The album didn't make a profit, even though we don't know the sales, but we know it's, it flopped, you know? And then to be hit with one of these things, is like, what are we really doing here? You know what I mean? This girl is more trouble than anything. You see what I say? Boy, people. And I'll soon say everybody run with it. Like I said, when you see my exclusive story on their page, I'm talking the Observer and all of these so could Jamaican vloggers putting out a comment section. I yes on the air first, you know? Yeah, I mean. Because you know the world watches me. So if you put my name, you know, so I'm going to say you to it. You know what I mean? But uh, anyway, I'm just giving you this exclusive update. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Hit the notification bell so you know so when I drop a next video. You know what I mean? Like the video a thousand times shared that million one on our social media platforms. Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter. It's a massive. And WhatsApp, because I try to reach broader audience. And I need your help in doing so. You feel what I'm saying? Boy. Boy, boy, boy. You see? If them did have sent something in a cash shop, we wouldn't have highlight that story, you know? We'd have run it to them and say, you know what? That big story I go on, you know? Oh, you want me to deal with it? But no, you're out here calling Jamaican people dunce. And you look the dunce as a ass.